Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's going to be about fashion hacks slash tips on low budget. So for example, you have no money but you want to look fashionable. Is there any tips or hacks for it? I try to organize all my tips and hacks I have as much as possible. So if you guys enjoy this video and I hope these tips actually are very practical. I mean, I think it's practical, but I hope it actually helps you in real life. And let me know in the comment section down below which tip is is your favorite let's get it started well the first tip I'm gonna talk about the most commonly easy way to buy clothes which is thrifting but if you do not have access to thrift stores especially right now you can't go out go thrifting at your mother's father's or siblings or boyfriend slash husband's closet be surprised at what you can actually find here I have a classic example of the white button-up shirt and black blazer from my husband's closet here I am trying to style the white button-up shirt differently by crisscrossing the left and right and tucking them in on the opposite sides to to inside the pants to create different design. Especially oversized blazer is so in style you won't need to worry too much about not fitting your body properly. These are the easiest to find and easiest to style because you can't really go wrong with these. Wearing them with casual jeans can also be an easy look. You can also try these bold printed shirts you might find in the closets and wear them as casual alternative to white shirts. Of course, oversized sweater or hoodies will be easy to find especially in guy siblings closet or husband or boyfriend's closet and style them according to your aesthetics. Next, I want to talk about finding different ways to wear clothes. For example, there are tons of ways to wear t-shirt, like simple t-shirt in different ways. I saw so many tips on Pinterest and TikTok that I thought these will be good ways to remember when you might want to give different look to boring white t-shirt. I just learned this hack of folding inside the shirt like accordion and using a hair tie to tie it and put it inside and tuck the shirt in. I'll definitely put like links to different kind of tutorials for t-shirt hacks in the description box below. Another good way to upgrade a look is to use a scarf. Scarf tops have been in so in style that I think owning a scarf is not a bad idea at all. Here I'm showing you some classic ones. The classic folding triangular shape and tying in the back and also tying in the front. But another one is tying the back but placing the end of like the tip of the triangle on top and using a necklace and uh, just like one earring to hold it in place like a halter neck top. These can be a little bit more revealing, so here are more examples of different ways to make scarves into cute tops. I wanted to try them, but my scarf was too short, so I am just giving you other people's examples. Also, you can use the scarf as a headband, a belt, or just adding it to your bag, and or wrapping it onto the strap of the bag for the alternative look. If you don't have access to like thrift stores or where to find the scarves, you can also like look into your mom's closet. Maybe she might have a really gigantic one. This one is super basic tip, but I want to add here because it is very important. Try to buy some of the basic neutral tops. Here I have a white mock neck top, which can be styled easily with black leather jacket, blazers, denim jackets. And mock necks are also super easy to layer with cute shirt if you want more coverage or if you live in colder areas. White goes with any color, so I heck highly recommend buying one. Black one is also a staple piece. You can also layer them and wear it under the denim jacket and all that. White t-shirt, like for summer, can also be layered easily with an outfit as seen in the example. For summer, basic color tank tops like black, gray, or white will also be good options. Next one is what I actually used to do when I was back in college. I was broke AF, of course, because especially I was a student, so I had no money. And I always thought of ways to wear a piece of clothing in a completely different way each time I wear them. Here is a classic black dress I got from YesStyle. This dress can be worn as it is, which is super cute, but it can also be worn with different pants like black jeans, regular jeans for a more casual look. You can add the white mock neck top underneath the dress and make this dress more like less sexy cute dress which is better for um, daily wear. Next one is my personal favorite which is wearing this dress as a blouse again with a dress pants and blazer. I love this color combination and I look so chic and badass. Next one is like super easy to just adding a denim jacket for a more tomboyish but feminine look at the same time. Adding a cropped cardigan for a more modest feminine touch. Last look, I added a cropped white shirt for more fun silhouette. Or you can just tie the regular length white button-up shirt to accentuate the waist. Okay, now it's gonna be more of easy DIY ideas to my girls out there who are broke AF as I mentioned before, like me. Yay, welcome to the club. 
This DIY is very commonly known and often used, which is cropping everything. The most common cropping I see everywhere is of course cropping a t-shirt or sweatshirt. Well, in this outfit, the top is from a Target Boys section which I cropped using scissors. I did not bother to sew it on the hem like the edges because I like the raw edge look. These pants are actually from H&M which was super high-waisted skinny jeans I bought years ago. It's surprisingly comfortable even though it's super tight but I do not like skinny jeans anymore so I decided to cut it. This mid-thigh length for pants are more in style these days so I boldly just cut them without second thoughts. I threw on this jacket to finish the look and as you can see I also cropped this DIY Louis Vuitton denim jacket. I DIY these on my other videos so if you want to check it out, please do! <laughs> Even though I spent so much time on it, I made a quick decision that I will wear this more often if I crop it. So don't be afraid to think of ways you can DIY old clothes especially if you are not wearing them anymore. Next one is the trend that is at the highest peak at this time. It's tie-dye! Yay! <laughs> um, you've probably seen these type of clothes everywhere on Instagram. This type was actually DIY'd about a year ago when the trend was starting to take place and I wanted to just try it out myself. And it turned out super cute. I also used bleach to bleach this denim jacket which kind of had the you know tie-dye effect and it turned out way cooler than I intended and I do not hate it at all. I actually styled this to Soul Fashion Week too. There are so many different ways you can tie-dye as you can see from these examples and I am going to make a whole video dedicated to different types of tie-dye ideas so stay tuned! Another DIY you can easily try or maybe it's not that easy but I, <laughs> I feel like embroidery is a super easy way to add fun details to an item. Here's a tank top I cut from a bodysuit and added this Chanel logo embroidery to upgrade this top. Next one is this flower embroidered Nike logo tank top. I definitely had fun creating this top and it was not hard at all. If you learn a few flower embroidery from YouTube tutorials, you can totally do this. Embroidery kits are not very expensive at all and it's a good investment for the long run. I continue to be obsessed with embroidery so I added different colored Nike logos in this tote bag. It literally took me forever but I'm very satisfied with the outcome. The last one is a thrifted denim bag which was super cute by itself since flower Flower patterns, especially daisy flower, is super trendy right now. I decided to add some. This one was definitely not hard at all, so you guys should definitely try it. Okay, finally the last tip. This one is DIYing your own jewelry. Now you might think, Zoe, I can't afford to buy new tools and materials to make new jewelry. What are you talking about? One of the main thing you just need to invest in is called jewelry pilers, I think. It looks like this one. I bought this like 4 years ago and I'm still using it well so I think it was a good investment. For the materials, I have to be honest, I've been collecting beads and jewels for so many years and that is why I have so much hair. But I wanted to show you some of the earrings and necklaces I made from the existing ones. And first one is the influence belt into a choker necklace I made. <laughs> this was literally a belt in a thrift store and I decided to cut the elastic band on the back part and make it into a necklace. It's like a choker necklace and it's gold color so I feel like it can definitely upgrade a look instantly. Next one is a pair of earrings. I also made these from old jewelry I had which I disassembled them a long time ago and decided to use wire I had and just randomly like made these one day and I got so many compliments on it and I was super happy. So these are kind of like my own original idea which was inspired by like a trending one so don't be afraid to just like get inspired by some kind of existing design and make it into your own. As long as you don't sell it, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Next one is another one from existing old jewelry which I just rearranged how it was made and I also made a kind of unbalance for the design so it gives more fun detail to it. Now let's try to make different jewelry from my existing one so that I can give you a detailed example. This necklace I bought long time ago has three different necklaces attached to one. Even though I love wearing necklaces for some reason I was not wearing this often. So I decided to disassemble them. I separated each strand from each other and then cut the pearl strand to add only half of it to the string and added the other half with the chunkier silver chain which was part of the three layered necklace. So I've seen this kind of necklace everywhere so I wanted to make my own. This is how it looks like and I think it will suit well with like street style clothes and even just like more luxury looking clothes. It gives this elegant but masculine chic look at the same time. 
which is totally my aesthetic. <laughs> With leftover chunky chain, I decided to add the super sparkly cheap diamond jewel strand I bought from wish.com for like one or two dollars. And it took forever, but it was worth it, as you can see. I added the chain and less chunkier chain to make these earrings. And this is how it turned out. I love how it can be worn with like both feminine and tomboyish street style clothes at the same time because of the jewel and also like the chain. And I can't wait to style them with my clothes. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys know I'm very cheap and you know, I hate spending money and my quote is that when you're cheap and poor, you gotta be creative. And I love being fashionable and being creative. So this is the only solution. You gotta find the little tips and hacks so that you can look kind of different from everyone else. Let me know if you want more fashion tips in the future. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, of course. And follow me on Instagram at aboutzoeli for more fashion inspo and also TikTok for just fun videos. See you guys in my next video. Bye!